Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the Law Unscripted. This is our exam review lecture number one for criminal law. So let's get into the definitions of homicide. We are dealing with three different sets of definitions. We're going to talk about the model penal code's definitions, the common law definition, and statutory definitions. Now, I've grouped these where they are in columns, and we're going to go by rows, where basically there's the division, you can see on the line, of those that are intentional killings under each of these three sets of definitions, and those that are unintentional. We're going to start with the model penal code. You may not ever see the model penal code's actual definitions applied unless they are in your statutory definitions or they've been incorporated into your statutory definitions in your state's governance. So most likely your statutory murders are going to be what's most similar to your state-based crimes in each of the jurisdictions where you go and practice after passing the bar and finishing law school. But let's start with the model penal code because this is the ideal, right? This is where um, criminal law hopes to take things, what they want you to see. And in this criminal law section for the model penal code, what we're doing is we're implying the hierarchy of intent. It goes toward homicide and we're gonna use each of these, but if you're using the model penal code to also define other crimes, you want to use the same hierarchy. You're going to want to use the same words, purposefully, knowingly, recklessly, negligently. These are the terms that you're going to want to learn if you're doing an application of the model penal code. Watch out on your test to make sure you know which one that you have to define. Do they want you to review this question, this hypothetical, these answers, these multiple choice in terms of the model penal code, in common law murder, or statutory? You really want to make sure you know the difference. And if it doesn't say on your test, then you'd be well advised to actually give an analogy or an analysis of each one. This would be murder under common law. This would be statutory second degree murder. This would be knowing murder under um, the model penal code. So you wanna make sure that you've basically understood, learned, and even memorized the portions on this chart so that you can effectively and appropriately apply the correct law to the problem you have.